The thing that people will usually tell you is that WebRTC doesn't scale. And that's absolutely true if you kind of look at it from a, um, a traditional standpoint. It was originally built as a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, which inherently doesn't scale well. Uh, but what we do is we use cloud instances. As you can see in this diagram, we've got origin instances. So these are like um, on AWS, they'd be EC2 instances. The incoming streams go into origins. Uh, they get fanned out to edges, and then subscribers are connecting to those edges. And then to get uh, massive concurrency, we put relays in the middle, which allows extra capacity on what an origin would be able to handle on its own. And this is how you can get millions of concurrent viewers using cloud. Um, and the, the branch of the operations is this thing called the stream manager, which is routing the streams. Broadcasters connect to it and get assigned an origin. Subscribers connect to it and get assigned an edge to subscribe to that stream. And it, it takes care of uh, auto scaling. It, uh, it can move up and down and add instances as needed depending on the load. And we also have a unique approach to ABR. Um, our system will actually re react and send the correct data down based on uh, this RAMB message, which is happening over the WebRTC protocol. Um, and probably more interesting is that we can actually leverage multiple cloud systems to get a really in, uh, nice global coverage. Um, so if one cloud provider is not going to cover the regions you're looking to hit, then you can mix and match them. And we, and we do this uh, using Terraform, uh, which is kind of this general API that allows you to tap into just about any cloud network, which also includes private uh, networks. Uh, so you can have your private cloud connecting to a public cloud for excess capacity and everything else.